What's going on, everyone? So right now I'm about to do an amazing pack opening today. Um, I know I'm still kind of getting used to saying pack opening. It makes me cringe so much. And since my last pack opening was received well, and you guys say you like my energy in a video and etc., decided like why not try it out? Something different on my channel. So for this pack opening, you guys already know when you click the um, title, we open it up. Three packs of OTS six. Now in OTS six, we get Alti Invocation. You can either get Alti Brilliant Fusion, and there's another Alti card, which name I cannot think of right now, but picture will be on the screen right here. So with that being said, we're gonna hope I pull the Alti Brilliant Fusion. That's what I'm going for when I open these three packs right here. And also, I was gonna be opening up a pack of Extreme Force right here. I got it from my locals today, and it was pretty cool. Um, I finished locals like X2-ish, really X1. X2 is in my personal opinion, but I'll explain that later in my future dual video. But yeah, let's get into these packs. All right, guys. So like I said, I'm doing an opening of OTS pack six with one pack of extreme force. I did receive these packs from locals. And if you guys don't know what's an OTS pack six, like I said, this is the official tournament store pack, meaning you can only get these when you go to locals and playing your local event. Um, at Nearman Near Games in Chicago, non-sponsored video. I'm just shouting them out because it's, it's the best locals to go to in Chicago currently. You can go to locals for 10 bucks on Monday. You get two OTS packs. And then on Thursday, you have the option to play for free or pay five bucks to get the third OTS pack. And then if you do X2 on Mondays, you get the one Extreme Force pack, which is why I got one right here. So I'm going to save the eyeball for last. Hope we get something good in that one. And we're going to start off with the tournament pack one. So I'm going to show you guys the front of the pack. For you guys that are not used to OTS packs, just to show you guys how crisp it looks right here, the reflection, not for sale. So if you, if you see it for sale somewhere, I mean, it's being sold illegally. Um, Six plus years, please retain the package. You can go to yugocar.com. Three cars in every pack. Entire set includes 13 commons, 10 super rare cards, and three ultimate rare cards. Remember, the Chase Ultimate Rare in this pack is Brilliant Fusion, Invocation, and the other card is on the tip of my tongue. I cannot remember at the moment, but I think it involves the deck they use Invoked. So let's try to open the pack, see if I can do like I did last time with the whole rolling thing like that. Get it open. Let's try one more time. Try to roll again. Okay, you know what? This pack's not too thin to do that. Like, I'm just gonna open it up nice and slow. All right, let's get that nice and good. And like last time, I'm gonna keep it open from the back and see what we get. Nice Kyber in the background. I'm loving this play this um play map from the Legendary Collection Kyber. By the way, it's pretty dope. All righty, first card. Oh, it's the super rare. So a super rare of the set. Wind Witch Winter Bell. Um, you can target one Wind Witch monster in your graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that target's level times 200. During the battle phase, quick effect, you can target one Wind Witch monster you control, especially when one monster from your hand with a, a level less than or equal to that monster, but it cannot attack this turn. You can only use the effect of Wind Witch Winter Bell once per turn. Um, wind Witch decks use it to make when you end off the field of the dragon that negates cards. Can't think of his name right now. Picture will be on the screen if I remember to edit it into the video. Next card, I got Phantom Sky Blaster. Okay, old school card, good for Link Summoning, which is why it probably was reprinted in this set. When this card is no more or flip summon, you can special summon any number of Sky Blaster tokens. Fiend, Dark, level four, 500 attack, 500 defense, up to the number of monsters you control. Once per turn, during your standby phase, you can inflict 300 to your opponent for each Sky Blaster monster you control. Sky Blaster monsters you control cannot declare an attack during a turn after its effect. Um, so yeah, we normal specimen, you specimen main tokens you want. And yeah, man, you're good for making link play. So it's overall a solid card. It might be better than Skate Hold on, let me read this one more time. This card is pretty dope. Normal or flip summon, you can specimen any number of Sky Blast tokens up to the number of monsters. Oh, up to the number of monsters you control. So if you control him, he summons one. But if you have a field, okay. Not as good as I thought it was, I was reading too fast. It tends to happen with somebody like me. So it's okay, but it is what it is. Definitely can definitely be better in scapegoat in, in certain scenarios. The last card, Light Ray Graffer. Okay, this card is used in 60 card Light Swarms every once in a while. You can special summon this card from your hand by discarding one level five or higher Light Monster once per turn. You can discard one Light Monster, banish one Light Monster from your deck. 
yeah it's okay it was mainly used in the greffer light swarm variant decks all righty let's try to get to the next pack that nice little sexy ots pack six pack let's see big money big money big money i'm gonna open from the back one more time i think the back they picked all the super or secret in the back so we're gonna open from the back so actually no i'm gonna try to pull it from the front because if the super is in the back i want to keep it a secret until um until i want to see it because i don't know what it is right now so i'm gonna pull from the front or even it keeps the guys a mystery for you guys too. Alrighty, let's see. First card, Destruction Strategy. Let's see what this card does. Your opponent shuffles their entire hand into the deck, then draws the same number of cards. I can see this used in Masked Heroes. Um, you do get the minus one from Dark Law, which is great. Um, yeah, it's not gonna be, get used in competitive play. But in combo oriented decks, maybe use a Drollin Lockbird, maybe it can kind of give you that pseudo um, Drollin Lockbird combo with the um, searching and kind of like similar to the Trickstar card, but the Trickstar card, Trickstar Reincarnation is 10 times better, but it's funny for if you want to try to pull off something goofy. Alrighty, next up. Predator Plant, Orphorus, Scorpio. So this card is pretty good. Um, Helps you have the Predator Plant Engine, which fetches your Brilliant Fusion, I believe, or you you play him to the Scar card. Let me read it. This card is no more special summon. You can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon one Predator Plant monster from your deck, except Predator Plant Orphorus Scorpio. You can only use the effect that Predator Plant Orphorus Scorpio wants per turn. So you, you summon him, pitch a card, bring out the one that can search out a card with Fusion in his name. Pretty dope card, I like it. Um, it's always good to have. And the last card is Trickstar Lily Bell. I freaking hate Trickstars and I freaking hate the card. I should rip, no, I'm not gonna rip it up. The card probably works something. Alrighty, let me go ahead and see. Zoom in. Sex, look at, look at the sex into that Trickstar Lily Bell. Look at the sex into that. Look at the sex into that. Trickstar is a lolly archetype. I'm not into lollies, by the way. That's kind of creepy. But the artwork is pretty dope. If this card is added to your hand, except by drawing it, you can specify a one you can special summon it pretty much. You can only use this effect of Trickstar Lily Bell once per turn. This card can, can attack directly when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent. You can target one Trickstar monster in your river as your hand. This is pretty dirty with the other Trickstar. You can bounce stuff back to special summon her. You can pretty much do a lot of um, OTK combos with that. All right, so I pulled a Lily Bell, pretty cool. Last OTS pack. Let's see what I get. Once again, I'm gonna pull from the front because apparently OTS puts all their um, special cards in the back. Let's see what happens. And if you guys haven't liked the video already, like the video to support the channel. Let's try to get this video up to 100 plus likes. It'll be great. Recurring Nightmare. Target two dark monsters with zero defense in your graveyard. Add those targets to your hand. Um, not going to see competitive play at the moment, but I could definitely see it seeing competitive play in the near future. With the layer dart instructor that coming out, you may or may not want to check this card out. Next up. Dragon Shrine. Send one dragon monster from your deck to the graveyard. You get the monsters used in your graveyard as a dragon normal monster. You can send one more dragon from your deck to the graveyard. Blue Eyes uses it. Um, I think it comes in a structure deck, so I don't know why it just even got the reprint. Yeah, good to have, I guess. Last card is Pelezoic Hallucigenia. Uh, target one face a monster in the field. Its attack and defense becomes half its current attack and defense until the end of the turn. Once per chain, when the target card is activated, while this card is in your graveyard, except some of this card is a normal monster. Summon this way, this card is on the first box monster, but also banish it when it leaves. I don't think, um, tri I don't think they run this in Paleozoic, correct me if I'm wrong. I see that up. I mean, you can tack it, but it's not that good. All right, so this pack feels pretty heavy. Pretty confident in my extreme force pack. This is the set you can get Heavy Metal Force Electroman. So pretty hype chase card of the set, pretty expensive. So this is the front of the pack right here. Konami, first edition, English first edition, nine cards per tag per pack um so nine cards in every pack entire set includes 48 commons 20 rares 14 super rares 10 ultra rares eight secret rares let's see what that does guys so let's try to see if i can do the pack opening i'm gonna try to do it once at least once hold on hold on i think i kind of messed it up let me try it again hold on okay did i get it did i get it no i don't think i got it this time so one more time Uh, people, it's funny, people at my locals do this so good. Okay, let's try it. I think it's a lost, lost art. All right. 
This pack feels pretty heavy once again. I think it's gonna be some good in this pack. I, I got a gut feeling it is. Let's see. Secure Gardener. When this card is special, I mean, you take no. Hold on, what, are, what happened? When this card is special, you take no effect damage. After this card is special, I mean, you take no effect damage for the rest of the turn. Once per turn, if you take battle damage for, for of an effect, you take no damage. Cannot be used as a link material. Only one secure card and once per turn. I wouldn't run it. Um, maybe Cybers runs it, but it's not that good. It's a link one, so it helps. Maybe Cybers use it. I don't know. Um, cool artwork, though. Next up. Mech Knight Orange Sunset. There are two or more cards in the same column. You can special summon this card from your hand in that column. You can only special summon Mech Knight Orange Sunset once per turn this way. If an opponent's card in this card column is destroyed by battle or lose the field, you can special summon one Mech Knight Monster in your hand. Um, see, I don't play Mech Knight per se, but from what I know about them, they do revolve around column base and they do revolve around. Um, I mean, special summon them out of my hand is not that bad, so. I guess Mech Knight to use it. Overall, it's not a card. Nothing more to be said about that. I'm not a Mac Knight expert. So Mac Knight experts, you probably can comment in the comment section down below how good that card is. Um, let's see, Ten Dingle. It sounds like a dance, Ten Dingle. You can add one Ten Dingle card from your deck to your hand. When this card is normal summon, you can send one Ten Dingle card from your deck to the graveyard. For monster, it's special summon to your field face down while this card is in your graveyard. Special summon this card and face up down defense position. Seems dope, I mean, but he's a level six, so ooh, he probably could full us burial it and then, I don't know, I have to see the rest, the rest of the archetype does. Maybe we could do a future video on that. Let's see, next up. Um, stripping partner. Can I be normal summon or sad? It must be special summoned by the following effect. If the activation of a monster you control is negated during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. When this card is special, you start one level four lower cyber monster graveyard. You're going to use the effect of stripping partner once your turn. See, this is situational. If it wasn't, if it wasn't, you can only special summon Cyber's monsters. I could definitely see this being used in the future for a deck somehow because you know spamming to the field and bring back cards is definitely good. And if the game ever progresses to a game state where we have cards that negate effects during a damage step, it'd be pretty dope. But overall, I don't see this doing anything in competitive play. It's more likely just an anime card, so it takes that with a grain of salt how good it's going to be. Okay, my first super rare. Um, Mythical Beast Medusa. Let's hope we get a rare in the pack. Look how shiny and pretty it looks, my god. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Okay. If you have no card in your other pendulum zone, you can target one monster in your graveyard. You can place a spell counter on, destroy this card, and if you do, put some of that monster. If you do that, place one spell counter on it. You're going to use effect of Mythical Medusa once per turn. Each time a spell card is activated, place one spell counter on this card when that spell resolves. Once per turn, during a battle phase, quick effect, you remove two spell counters from your field. Target one phase of monster and field and half attack. Eh, it's okay. Um, mythical piece, I aren't doing much in the metal, but the artwork is pretty dope. I like it. It's pretty funny, actually. Next up. And the rare for the um, set is Glory of the Oh! Okay, let me stop. Um, let's see. Target one of my monster you control. Equip it with one equip spell from your deck that can equip to target. You can only have to hit one glory number nights per turn. This card is good for Nova Knights. Good for Nova Knights. Um, I don't know how good Nova Knights is at the moment, but in my opinion, almost any, every deck can be used. It just depends on how good you use it. Yeah, pretty art, nice artwork too. That gives me a Game of Thrones vibe. That should be the Iron Throne in the back. Three Game of Thrones fans out there. Pretty dope. Two more cards to go, guys. Two more cards to go. I thought, <laughs> bro, I, I, I literally thought this said F U C K Clown. You know, YouTuber. Cut that monetization off if I say the real word, but I, I literally thought it said F U C K count, but it's flick count. Come on, let me know what they were doing though, because if you just put it right there, look, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Hilarious. If you control at least two other Cyrus monsters and have no cards in your hand, you can pay 1,000, draw one card. You can use it for the flick clown once per turn. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Okay. Almost caught me slipping for a minute. Um, Tendango Bay. Oh, okay, there's another Tendango card. You control a face down defense position monster. You can special summon this card in your hand in defense position. You can only special summon Tendango Beast Gardener this way. If a monster is normal, special summon in an outpoint by an opponent's lean monster. You treat this card special one Tendango monster in hand or deck in attack position. Yeah, it's alright. Um, <laughs> I'm still tripping off this. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Look at that. I should make this be the thumbnail. Like, Look at that. Hold on, let me try to zoom in. I should literally make this a thumbnail. It's hilarious. 
I guess it's not picking up my hand. Whatever. And the last card. I'm not trying to make this video too long. Um, Link Belt Wall Dragon. Who who makes these names, bro? Look at this dude like a like a machine gun fuse of the dragon. Like it's so crazy. Okay. Can I be normal summon the set? Must be special summon by its own effect. When you link summon, you can summon this card from your hand, and if you do, place two counters on it. If a monster is linked, I'm gonna remove two of those counters from this card. Once per turn during each time I face, place one of these counters on this card. No, no monster can't be linked summon unless they have as many counters as the other monsters link. Monsters can attack except link monsters. Pretty dope. Um, it's a weak attack, ain't cutting it, and then today's matter 2100 defense ain't gonna do it. At least the artwork is nice though. All right, so. Out of all my packs, um, I pulled pretty much, by competitive standpoint, mediocre. But for what it's worth, a lot of great casual cards. We did get a Win Witch, um, Winter Bell, Paleozoic, Lucianic, <laughs> and I think Preda Plant and Lily Bell are some of the best pools. Oh, yeah, and then Overnight Cards pretty dope too. Post your thoughts and opinions about this opening in the comment section down below. And what cards do you guys personally think is the better pools from this opening? So, with all that being said, I know this is kind of long-winded, but this is my second attempt at doing an opening, so tell me how I did. Anyways, YGO, signing out. Peace.